that was a better time. What's up, everybody? Brad here, Bruce on Review, joined with Average Joe. Mm -hmm. Tonight, excited to get into this one, to be honest. Clown shoes, the piece that money can't buy, Belgian style quad, Asian bourbon barrels. This is their fifth anniversary here as well. Clocks in 11 and a half, and pretty clear as day right on. They're bottled on December of last year. Yeah, yeah. It is a, it is almost almost a year old, surprisingly. Also, I'd like to shout out our, our good buddy and fellow beer tuber, Ethan Flair. Really, just Ethan of Ethan's Beer Reviews. He sent me this bottle in a recent beer trade. So. All right. Good, good on you. Bit of, good bit of smoke off the top. Nice oh. hiss on that. Glug, 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 glug. It's uh, it's well, got, it's got that soda pop type head on it, it's all fizzy and dissipating. Yep, yours looks a quite like filtered, like I can see like ruby red hints through your glass. Mine, on the other hand, there's none of that happening. Yours is murky, eh? It's very murky, like a really deep, deep, like, mahogany. Well, it stood upright. Yeah. In my um, fridge for the longest time. Actually, I had this... <clears throat> yeah, it wasn't completely upright, but whatever. It's got a nose on it. Mm -hmm. I could smell it while we are pouring it. Wow. Yeah. Dark fruits galore. Got a good bit of bourbon too. Nice yeah. sweet bourbon. Caramel. Definitely tons, tons of dark fruit. Caramel, brown sugar, dark fruits like black cherries, raisins. Uh, definitely a little bit of vanilla and oak from the bourbon. Yeah. You gotta really get a. I'd say it's a, a fainter alcohol. Well, yeah, I was gonna say it smells somewhat boozy, but it's not really prominent. Like you can yeah. get a waft here and there, but it's not substantial whatsoever. The the bourbon smells really nice in there. Yeah, and it really does. And despite all the fact or the fact that there's a lot of sweetness going on with caramel, you know, brown sugar, vanilla, dark fruits, it really doesn't smell super sweet. Mm -hmm. I and mean, get a little bit of that yeast quality too. There's like that Belgian yeast, like almost a yeah. musty, uh, yeah. musty earthy, like, earthy like, or like spiciness too. Just yeah. like ever so slight. Mm, it's it's a, pretty pretty good. Yeah, it's not super complex, but there is a little bit of complexity there, and it, it def definitely smells on the sweeter side. But I don't know. I'm ready to go in. Cheers, buddy. Let's do it. Cheers. That carbonation is predominant up front. I noticed that it's pretty aggressive, it seems. Um yeah, and I feel like my bottle is starting to turn a little bit. I'm getting a sourness on the back end. Like, it's not. I got a like a cherry tartness on the back end. I don't know. Was that sour? Maybe. What's your full bottled on day, Joe? December 18th on mine. Where is this? Or if it's from the same batch or not. Where, do they, where is the bottling date? I don't know, Greg. <laughs> Where's the modeling date? I don't well, mine's sweating, so I, I can't. Oh, uh, should be just about the label before the next. Oh, here we go. But. Yep, uh, 12, 16, 14, so. Yeah, okay, I you know, I take it back. It's not sour. Like, it's not like drinking a sour, uh, but it definitely is tart, and I, I don't feel like fresh is probably would have been there. Yeah, it's not 
I can't say I got it on that first sip, but there's nothing in the aroma that's telling me it's off in any way. No, there isn't. That like like all the notes we were getting on the sweeter side, no hint of any tartness, sourness whatsoever. There, there, there's nothing that seemingly was off on the uh, on the aroma, but like right up front, even when I f took the first sip, I was getting a lot of sweetness. And then like the the second half of the uh, <clears throat> of the uh, sip, it just finishes with this like lingering tartness, and, and like you're saying, it's like a, it's like a has, cherry, cherry tartness. It had reminiscence there of just certain qualities of that last goza I drank. On the finish, Joe. Oh, the blood orange one from me. Yeah, Mexico. kind of that lacto tart puckering thing. You know, your tongue kind of gets. It's super thin, too. The carbonation is really aggressive, and then it's like a real thin mouthfeel, and then that finishes. I don't know. The aroma's nice. <laughs> I don't know what to say here. Yeah. Um... I don't know how Ethan was storing it, but I know Ethan has it has a, you know, whatever he keeps it in his cellar. And seeing that this was bottled in last December, I don't think he picked this up last December or even earlier this year. I think he bought it only a little bit before before he sent it to me, which is about a month, month and a half ago. Yeah. So I'm wondering if it's something just with the beer itself. I mean, you're getting it a little bit, maybe not as, as much as I am. Um, and I'm curious if anyone else actually has drank this recently has, has seen this pop up because as soon as i got it actually this went in the fridge um uh well sorry not the fridge it went in my cellar which i've drank tons of tons of beers from my cellar and i i can count on one hand anything that's happened to them so i don't think it was a case of it being stored improperly in my opinion i no, i'm i'm picking that up joe yeah weird but that's but see that's the dangers in aging beer, you you don't know when uh, something like that can get infected. I mean, especially with the barrels, you're you're always you know, playing a uh, uh, playing with fire, so to speak. Yeah, it's it's not bad though. Here's the thing, it's not bad. I still get a lot of sweetness stuff from uh, the dark fruits, getting more like raisiny dark fruits as them. Than the black cherry I was getting, like raisins, maybe even a little bit of figs. There is a substantial sweetness up front. There's caramel and brown sugar. There's a confectionery sweetness right at the front of the of the mouth. But then, as it as it goes through the palate and it gets to the back end, that's where that that like black cherry tartness starts to shine. And like you said, the body is a, thinner than I expected at eleven and a half percent. And I'm thinking full body. It's kind of like medium body at best. Yeah. Lots of carbonation too, uh, yeah. which. Is I, <laughs> a little bit more than uh, I'd like to see out of a quad. You shouldn't get belchy like that from no. drinking a Belgian quad. No. And it almost has this cherry cough syrup taste on the finish. Uh, and the the oaky the oakiness opened up more on the aroma. I gotta say it smells pretty good. It smells but actually the taste, the taste and the flavor, there's nothing that follows the aroma whatsoever. So, I don't know. I don't know if this is a, a beer gone bad, or if it was bad probably right when it got bottled and it just got worse, or... I don't know, because I, I, I forgot who I... I saw a couple reviews, I think. Oh, I don't remember who I saw. When this first came out late last year, early this year, and I saw a couple reviews, and people seemed to dig it, so... I think it might be one of those things where over the last, you know, 10 months or so, it's starting to change and it's starting, I mean, there's probably was a slight infection in the beginning and starting to come to the forefront because I, I don't think it's a coincidence that you and I are both getting similar tasting notes to the to the whole infected uh, side of things because you're all the way over there in the Calgary, Alberta, Canada. I'm in New York and we have the same bottling day, right? Or was yours the 18th and mine's the 16th? 18th. So. so it's a couple of days off. I mean, it's the same, probably the, not the same batch, but you know, around the, the same time. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Disappointing is all I got because yeah. I was really looking forward to it. I don't think it's bad though. Here's the thing. I don't not, I, I'm not, enjoy, I'm not hating it. Like I, I don't think it's horrible. I don't think I, I'm actually going to probably drink the rest of it because I think it's actually pretty decent for what it is. The, the, the tartness 
it kind of almost feels like it's a it, a barrel aged uh, sour kind yeah, of. It does. I mean, it, it kind of does reflect that. I mean, that tartness isn't off putting. It's just I'm drinking a barrel aged quad. Disappointing because I yeah I wanted to go into a barrel aged quad. It wasn't like, hey, we took this quad and we threw it in red wine barrels and then, you know, added lacto or did something to it. No. They were like, no, it's in bourbon barrels and I'm kind of expecting a bourbon barrel aged quad and I'm getting more like a red wine barrel aged uh, quad. You know, kind of it's just really different, but I don't think it's bad. I just not what I expected. Great on this, Joe. How would you... I don't know. I'm not very happy. I'm not very happy. If I had to grade it on 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 a barrel, a bourbon barrel aged quad, I'd probably give it like a negative three billion. Because it's, <laughs> there's the only redeeming quality is the aroma on this. Like it, it does smell like a bar, bourbon barrel aged quad. Uh, the taste, I don't rate the style because I drink whatever's in front of me and I get disappointed like we are right now. Yeah. That is not what we've expected. Yeah. If I had to rate this on what I'm drinking, I do enjoy it a little bit. So I'd probably give it like, I'd give it a straight 80. I, I, I don't mind it. I, I'm probably going to finish the bottle and it's not bad. Just not what I expected or not what we expected. Yeah. I, I go 79 just, just under just keeping it from that next letter grade, I guess. But it's really disappointing for me going in wanting that particular style mm -hmm. and then not being able to satisfy that craving is terrible to me. Yeah, it's it's like the only, like, the only word I can say is disappointing. I mean, yeah. you, you get excited when, when you buy beers, you usually buy them based on style or, or you know, most of the time it's like, oh, hey, I like this style. I want it. Ethan's asked me if I wanted this in the beer trade because he's like, hey, I'm like, yeah, bourbon barrel aged quads. I've had quite a few, not quite a few, but I've had a couple. And I really do enjoy them. I was expecting more. Um, it's funny, though. One thing I want to say before we, we, we cut it off is that I totally agree with what you said earlier, though. You said as we were drinking this, more of the uh, the bourbon and the oak was coming out. And like the last three sips, actually, a lot of it's coming out for me. A lot of vanilla, a lot of bourbon, a lot of oak. Uh, oak tannins, too, are kind of like coming to the forefront in addition with that that black cherry tartness it's actually pretty solid like i don't know <laughs> i, I think weird. if we i think if we drink this six six months from now i think it might be like no <laughs> just no yeah, it's but, not uh, gonna get any it's not getting better I don't no it's not gonna get any better, better but. <laughs> i appreciate ethan sending me this though uh, really cool of them unfortunately it's not at its best so what are you gonna do I don't know, it was nice to try their anniversary meal. I like clown shoes, but this is one of the more disappointing offers that I've had from them. I agree. So, anyway, yeah, we'll, we'll end on that note. We appreciate anyone watching or checking it out. Down yeah, and if, you, and if you've had this, let us know if uh, if you actually have a bottle or if you've had one recently and if you're getting similar tasting notes because I'm really curious right now if, if this is – yeah. Just you know, maybe a certain batches or certain bottles, or, or if it's you know what what everyone's experiencing. Because I hope not. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Joe. Cheers, Brad. Cheers, everyone.